everybody and happy Sunday. Got Mr. Baker here and uh, we are at Shades of Death in Hickory Run State Park, which is not 30 minutes away from my house. <laughs> it's an hour and a half from my house. So nonetheless, but we are currently listening to the dogs bark as we stand over here getting a couple snapshots because there's Mike's new baby, the OM1. And I've got the Sony. So taking taking some lessons from the professional here. But uh, yeah, so we've done this before, but it was a little warmer because I was in shorts when we did this last time. <laughs> and we were using iPhones. So we've come a little ways, a little bit. All right, now I got you in the right mode. 4K60 rock steady versus horizon balance for the drive in for the time lapse. But uh, little man is here. Big girl is here. Yes. Good morning, babies. Are you ready for a hike? We got to let Uncle Mike change his shoes. You excited? Yes, you are. Alrighty, Shades of Death Trail. Okay, dogs are crossed. That was a fun little trick. Mateo decided he was going to go around the bridge. We do have water. This is, they are like a minus seven inches on the rain scale right now and then in this area in the Pennsylvania. They haven't had rain, like I said, like two months. So. So we were just down over that way. Priya. Cliff edge and water. Of course, you're going to be right on it. <laughs> Looking on the bottom of my Columbia's this morning and they have no tread, tread left on the bottom. On the heel, yeah. This is uh, part of the reason the name of this. This it was it was because it was not land that they could grow on, right? Shades of death. See, I do remember some things. I just don't remember where it's at. What's the whimpering about, Priya? Huh? What's the whimpering about? There you go. Moping around. There you go. You figured it out. This is the path we hit. This is a path right here. This is roots. And I don't know why I picked the side where I'm going to fall off the cliff. Oh, dear God. Yep, I remember this now. Well, I watched the video back last night. Oh, the first time we were here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where Priya was standing on the edge like Mateo is right now. I mean, it's only like eight foot down with some trees in your way. Oh, dear God. Mateo, no. Left side. Mateo, wrong side. Mateo, wrong side. Get up here. 
Now go. Oh, a trip and you're on your, you're going in. Of course, Mateo's gonna try to avoid the steps. At least that root's short. I can get over it, stump, I mean. Oh, now we're gonna be up by the roadside here. This is the sucky part. This is really pretty down through here. And when we come back down, I might try to get across and get up here. Yeah, the trail takes you up alongside the road. But down in here, there's some really pretty running water. If you could get to the, if you, there was a spot there we could probably made it across, but not with dogs. We're gonna wait for Uncle Mike. And he made Yep. That's what time it is. iPhone time. I am gonna try to get down there though. This is such a pretty waterway right here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Forgot what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cliff edge, Mateo. What are you doing back there, Sniffy? Sniffy. Mm hmm. Yeah, but there's some shallow water down here that you might want to use. <clears throat> what are you two doing on your own? Sorry, I was trying to take a picture. Priya! 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 Trying to get a picture of him. Priya, you're walking out of the scene. Oh. All right, I guess I'll rescue you, stupids. Do it. It'd be nice if your sister wouldn't have kept going. I don't think the last time we came down we did this because it looked very iffy. But apparently we're doing it this time. Oh, God, it's still iffy. And little dog is pulling me. Come on, pray. Oh, all right. Oh, snap. What did Uncle Mikey find here? Oh, this is the bottom of the freaking water slide. Wow. Pretty. All right. Well, we got. I tell you if you filmed down here because you've been using your camera more than you've been using that. Yes, I have. But we got water. I don't even have we a got, video recording device. We got water spiders, though, which yeah. I got pictures of. About 80 of them. Yeah. And uh, we made it over to another rock, so I'm going to sneak around Michael here. And uh, yeah. It was my bright idea to get us out here. It worked. Yeah. Because. We're on like a little outcropping right now of rocks. Yeah, because the idea was honestly, my, my thought plan was to get down through here. And that also put me in better line with the waterfall, which is covered in a lot of leaves and branches. And not a lot of water. <laughs> no, there's not much water. Speaking of water, guys. Hmm. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> So the mic and the remote does disconnect when you go underwater with this. So you can get it recording, but when you until you come back out of the water, 
ain't gonna stop. You right? Yeah, I uh, stepped on a branch and decided it was just gonna roll underneath my foot. That's always good. Yeah, no. Alrighty, we've seen this part. In fact, I, well, yeah, this was actually running pretty good when we were here the first time. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't now. This was the buddy section. Yes. Where is our death trail that we came down? That's not far away, is it? I might as well hook the dogs and keep recording. Um, hopefully I can hold on. What I don't know, but... Priya, where are you going? Why are you jumping a tree? Come on. Okay, just watch this last step. Little dead leaves and moss and all kinds of good stuff. So this is the water slide I was talking about. That would hurt right now though. There is not a lot of water on that. And getting that tree branch up your butt would not feel good. Yeah, there weren't dry sections when we were here last time. This is actually dry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was. This whole side was water. Now, under normal circumstances, people are probably looking like, what is this guy who What is this guy doing? Yeah, really. And then we got me. Um, Princess! <laughs> Come on, you can't lick me! <laughs> God! Come here. Come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Stop <laughs> the tail's gonna take a picture. They're playing down on the ground with my camera because I really don't want to, you know, try to get back up. <laughs> I don't think getting back up is going to be too easy. Oh, dear God. You're going to hate that photo. going underwater with this lens might not have been a good idea there's a lot i think it's i'm hoping it's temperature related because if moisture got in there i'm surprised the camera still works but hold on a second it's temperature related yeah because it's the water is probably really cold and the air is getting warmer yeah so it's causing condensation but now i'm going to flip you upside down and hang you off this little little rock formation that i literally have just been laying on my sternum to take photos with two different cameras that is a neat camera it's way beyond what i would ever need but it's lightweight and the photos that we just took with it with it, it's just mike's gonna have to send them to me so i can share them to you guys because i can't believe i took those photos <laughs> Where? Oh. I guess I should turn Mike's back on now. All right, we're almost to the waterfall here, guys. And uh, one little, I've been 122 photos and you are very, very froggy. So I do apologize for that. That was cold water and warm air, we hope. Camera still works. So I'm gonna be a little hazy the rest of the day, I guess. Cause I don't have the OG lens with me to switch over to. I wish I did. 
That would be smart. I'm curious on the underwater footage though, see how it looks. Cause yeah. it's only the second time it's gone underwater and that was deeper than last time by a whole three inches. <laughs> this is a nice thing though, is like when we're together, like it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be blurred out. Mm -hmm. And I think the quality is better than the pocket. Pers personal, personal feelings. All right. I'm at 122 photos. How many are you at? 289? Wow. Well, more than that. He's at like 295 now, but I took about six of those. <laughs> you took about six of them and... Uh... I laid on my stomach to get some of them. You know what's funny is I actually recorded the time lapse coming here with the pocket and I even did like the intro. But there's nothing. nothing. <laughs> it's just all pictures. Go watch Kurt's video. <laughs> yeah, it's be, go watch Kurt's video because I got nothing on the trail. Because I brought no other cameras with me but the OM1. I got the, and here I got iPhone, Pixel. Well, he's got an iPhone with him. Um, the Sony RX10 Mark IV. The 5. How's the stabilization? In body image. First thing, remember. <laughs> all right well if you remember the last time we came here that was all the way across and coming down and you're fogging up more and more because the air temperature is kind of getting down a little bit it's the fresh air is amazing i really wish that haze was gone though i mean i think i could get rid of it but i'd have to remove the lens completely my other thought is re-dip you All right. Did that help? No, nope. probably made it worse. Nope, that just fogged it up even more. All right, so, um, hmm. I still don't, I mean, water's not getting in because the camera would have exploded by now had it been, it's just temperature. That water is probably really cold. What does? Yeah, it does. that rock sound hollow by the way. Could you hear from down there? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. All right, so this thing does sl slow shutter video. Did not know that. Right now I'm 1 over 100. That's getting darker. Uh, I'm at an ISO 100, so. All right, now it's a little foggy, but I'll go back to this view for a moment. Really wish I knew what to do to this lens to make it clear up. Don't really have anything with me because the problem is I can get the center part done, but the outer ring is, uh, yeah, staying very foggy. I guess they don't want to get as close as we were. They're probably like, fuck that. We're not that ballsy.
Okay, I'm gonna say officially the fact that there was water floating in this lens, this lens is not waterproof. Do not use the KNF Concepts lens underwater. I don't know how my camera is honestly still going unless it's sealed beyond the lens. Um, I, I must be either very lucky or it's going to die on me later, which is really gonna piss me off and I'm gonna have to get it replaced through Amazon. <sighs> That's great. That was something I wondered about, but it looks like it should have locked into the seal. But apparently not. Because I, when I pulled it out, there was water floating inside the lens. So that's why it's fogging up. So if you have the KNF Concept CPL filter, don't use it underwater, which I don't think was on the listing that I bought it. Which kind of ticks me off. Anywho, so right now you're running lensless. And uh, puppies are... Mateo's doing okay now, but he did not like getting out that way. Where Mike's standing, he was having a little bit of a freak out period. So, all right, use a little bit of iPhone, a little bit of Sony. This sucker is shooting freaking um, long exposure video. I did not know it did that. We have learned a lot about this camera today. So, all right, we're gonna start making our way back. Are we gonna have time to do Boulder Field? Michael. He's not listening. All right, back to foggy lens. Um, so there is a seal in there that uh, if I wanted to put it back on when I did, I wouldn't have it anymore. It was getting ready to fall out. So maybe the seal wasn't lined up. I got it as tight as I can now. Honestly, I think part of it is temperature change and the fact that the camera is warm versus the air. So, cause it's inside, but if anybody knows the fogging situation with this camera, with the Action 5 and the lenses, probably the 4, any of them, how to stop that. I'm sure there's anti-fog stuff you can put on them, but seeing water inside that lens, not very, uh, not very good. I'm uh, very surprised that this camera is still alive. At least the door is on it still. The door made it, so. Oh, it's really not that far of a hike. It's not bad. But we're not going to go back the way we came, went back the last time. We are going to go down this treacherous spot that we came up. Um, which means I need to rehook this back to me. And uh, yeah, it looks very precarious, but there's grips. You got roots and stuff and a tree to hang on to. So we're just waiting on Mr. Baker. And I don't know if we're doing the boulder field after this or not. Alrighty, well we're borrowing Mr. Baker's lens from the Action 4. Thank God it fits it. DJI did something nice with making ever, almost everything universal between the cameras for the last few editions, three, four, and the five. So we got a clear lens for the moment. The other one is clearing up though. For now you have a clear lens. But the, um, yeah, I'm not going back underwater. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. However, and I said to him, the seal was like falling out just before I put the lens back on it. I got to the car and pulled the lens off. The seal fell out. Yeah. Totally out. Yeah. And that was not fun to get back in. That was, uh, little tedious it didn't want to set back in the groove it kept like trying to stretch out of it so I'm not taking the dogs on this little itty bitty part of the hike we're just gonna take a little walk over here and then up to the boulder field and I think that'll be it we gotta figure out where the sunken bridge is though because I keep getting told about it by my mom so yeah we gotta figure out the bridge out yeah. I tried looking for it last night a little bit yeah when we were on the phone in between me building stuff on Minecraft um I couldn't really find anything. I found a video of it, but that it got damaged and stuff, but I don't know where it's at. Got a couple little waterfalls over here and a church. And uh, yeah, get some photos and some video. And this part will be done. Last time we were over here. Did I fly the drone up here last time? Uh-huh, you flew the drone right under the bridge. That's, oh yeah, that's right, I did. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't catch that branch right there. So I'm shooting one over four. Mike, look at this.
Damn, it's fogging your lens up. That's not good, is it? Might be a problem. Well, the camera's still turned on, and now my lens is clear, but his lens fogged up in the time that we were over there. So we're a little... Maria, settle down. God, oh, Freddy, this dog. All right, Boulder Field, and then... Then we're going to get out of here, because it is quarter of four. Priya, stop. Settle down. But they've been, they've been good. Yes, you've been good. You've been good. You got any water? You got to love your daddy. You got treats. Did you have? You got and stuff. Did you be go? You your big girl. Did you go? You do big girl. Mwah. All right, get back. Daddy's got to drive. Oh, but fun day. It, the temperature's starting to go back down now. I don't know what it got up to, but now the sun is starting to get down. Temperature is a drop, and unfortunately, yep, the remote died. <laughs> But I have the camera on charge. It's at 59% after filming today. Of course, the big camera, I need to change the battery in it, um, the Sony, because it's down to like 30-some percent. And I don't think we're going to do a whole lot of photos up here, but just a few. So leave her alone. All right. Reverse engaged. So we'll get this done, and then we will call it a day. All right, got to use the camera now because the remote's dead, but anybody remembers the first trip out here, which was July of 2023. This is the boulder field. These rocks were all rolled down as glaciers melted and whatnot. There's signs around here, but people are reading them. So as soon as I can get a chance, I will show you. We're not going to go out on them because, you know, broken ankles and whatnot. But there it is. That's a lot of boulders. And this goes for a while. This is just one section of it. Uh-oh. What is wrong with my phone? The operator. Well, someone's lucky enough to have a drone. He was telling me he drowned his too, but DJI actually replaced it because it landed in a spot that was supposed to be dry land and it was water. <laughs> oh, I miss that sound. One, maybe once again. We're going to pack it up and make our way home. And the lens is fogging back up again. That's not a good sign. <sighs> so, have water in there. Oh, yeah, it is fogging up. Mm -hmm. So, all right, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's little adventure. And uh, God knows when Mike and I will see each other again, probably in January, because now he gets to work, you know, Christmas at the Grove for the next month. So, and I work the next couple Sundays. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please thumb up, subscribe, and comment. I will see you tomorrow. As always, have a good night and stay safe.